Hi everyone, my name is Karina Hall and I'm excited to be guiding you on this collage workshop for hospital rooms. So before starting, I think it's always good practice to have all your materials out beforehand, sort of like a mise en place, as they say in cooking, where you get all your ingredients out and measured. So I have my glue, I have some scissors, but we'll also uh, be tearing some of the paper with our hands if we can't use scissors as well. Um, and my coloured card, got a nice selection of colours here, and then the image that I'm going to be working with. So uh, I'm going to start off by quickly having a study of the image that we're going to be working with and I'm going to pick out some of the elements that I'm going to be cutting out later on for the collage. So I'm going to see what catches my attention initially. So I'm drawn to this thick, dense canopy here created by the trees, which takes up almost half the image. And then this lush green vegetation. And of course, this expansive blue sea, this rather charming boat here. And then some of these interesting shapes that have been created by the light that's dappled through. Um, okay, so from there, I am going to pick a colour to use as the background for the overall collage and I think the colour that I'm drawn to is this rather muted one um, and I think because I want all the other elements to stand out I'm going to stick with this muted colour so that all the colours will uh, stand out once we start placing them down. Right so I'm going to think about what I want to cut out first I think I'm going to start out by cutting out this boat here and I'm not going to draw anything, I'm just going to go straight in with my scissors and see what shape we can make. Hopefully it will look boat-like at the end. So what I'm trying to do here is not create an exact replica of the image, but I'm trying to get a sense of what a place feels like rather than what it looks like. And I took this particular photo when I was visiting family on a trip to Mauritius. And so the image has a lot of personal resonance for me. And also it's just a very uh, peaceful and calm image to look at. So if we manage to create that same sense at the end with our collage, then I count that as a success. So now I'm going to try cutting out this canopy like here, canopy like shape. And hopefully create some interesting marks with the scissors. I think we often think about drawing uh, with tools such as a pen or pencil or even a brush, but I think trying to draw with scissors or even directly with your hand can be really interesting as well. I think it can also just challenge your own assumptions about what mark making can be. Um, Matisse was obviously very famous for his cutouts and uh, he liked to say that he was painting with scissors. So I think just by changing your tools for something unfamiliar every once in a while is really good practice. Let's see what this looks like. I also like when you cut out certain shapes, you know, so I cut out, this is the shape I intended to cut out, but I could easily use this shape too, so I'm going to keep it here for reference. I might change it later. Okay, now I'm going to think about this C. So I'm going to try tearing 
the shape because there's some foam that's come here from the water and I think we can get some of that texture through tearing the paper rather than cutting it this time. It's creating a really satisfying sound. I often uh, use this coloured card in between painting. Um, it's a really good way for me to think about colour in a different way. I think you start to learn what colours work together, the different dynamics between them, and sometimes just the act of placing colours next to one another can teach you a lot about the dynamics between each colour. Okay, let's see. I think some bright colours missing, so I'm going to attempt to try and cut out some of these dappled light shapes here. I wanted to mention that with the photo that you end up using, um, you know, it could be easily be a photo that you've taken or one that you've found on online or in a magazine. I think it's good to think about what images that we're drawn to and to question uh, what makes us pick certain images to work from. Then I think I'm going to try some of this bright green. Might mix some of the two with this vegetation at the back. One of the great things about collage is that you don't actually have to commit to the actual mark until you want to stick things down. So you can have a look at the pieces together at the end to see what works and what doesn't. Right. So now I'm going to just have a quick play around, try different layering, see what works. Maybe want another piece me up here maybe to create a bit of horizon in the background. Okay, I think that might be good. I might just add some other colourful flourishes. I wanted to pick up some of these leaves here that I can see poking out in the canopy. There's those really nice long shapes. Maybe I'll have some coming down. softer shapes just to go along at the top there. Okay, we're going to start sticking these down. Have a fresh glue stick for this special occasion.
I hope that whatever image you ended up working with, that you've managed to retain some of the same atmosphere that you were drawn to in the first place. But I'd be really interested to see what you end up making. And also to see what the original source image looks like. I'm really pleased with how these colours are working together. I like using bright colours in my own paintings. I think colour is such a deeply personal language and I enjoy talking to people about colour and what they read when they see certain colours. And often it can make people think of a certain place or a memory. So, yeah, it's a new language in its own right. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to add the final details here. Final piece going down, and then we can have a look at it together. It's stuck to my thumb. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm pleased with that. Thank you for watching my workshop and I hope you enjoyed making your collage as much as I did making this video.